Hi everyone, uh, welcome to our new session. And today we are going to learn about custom fields. So what is custom field? Why we need that? Actually, Jira provides us issue types, uh, four default issue types. And all those issue types come up with some system field. Those are already there. And it's a combination of system fields plus custom field. So sometimes we need a little bit more information. Uh, like, uh, for example, for a bug, we want a root cause to do a root cause analysis in future. So in that particular case, we need custom field to be added onto that particular issue type so that we can fetch that particular information from the user. So today we are going to learn how we are going to add custom field on a bug type issue type. For that, just click on these settings go to issues and here we have an option called custom fields and these are the by default custom field those are provided by jira right and we can create another custom field over here okay so these are different type of field that we can create like list of checkbox date picker date time picker label number field paragraph radio button select list select list where multiple choices we can select select list where single choice can be select a single line text field url or user picker single user we can select out of that okay so for us i think this field is fine where we can select single root cause for a particular issue just select click on it and click on next and here we can add the field name root cause okay so we can also provide the description so that in future we should know like why we have added this field to get the information root cause of any box Okay, what type of option you want to add? Option would be requirement was not clear. Design issue. Guideline not followed. Testing was not proper or any configuration issue. So you can add more options over here based upon your uh, root cause that you want to get value. So we are for the time being creating this field. Okay. As we created this field, uh, Jira provides us option, okay, on which type of screen you want to add this uh, issue type. So we will discuss about screen in separate session, but these are the different screen, those are available for us. And we are putting this field onto this kind of screen. Only Scrum bug screen would have this option. Okay, after just clicking on update, this custom field is being attached to that particular issue type screen. So just click on create. And that issue type screen was attached to bug issue type. So just scroll it down and you would find that particular field here. Okay. And you can see like here we have the description of that that we have provided. And we here we have options that we have added over there. Okay, so let's move to another issue type. This custom field would not be part of another issue type. I am scrolling a little bit slow so that it could be validated. Okay, you can check like on story this custom field is not added. By this way, we can create more custom field if we need more information but it is recommended like we should use custom field very carefully 
because if uh, we are going to transfer this project to another project, we are merging two projects into a once another single project, these custom fields might lose their value, especially if we are moving this data from uh, company uh, made project to uh, team managed project. We would cover those information in the coming session. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.